In this video, I will show you how you can create very good looking landing pages on Beehive. Now, first of all, if you have not yet created your Beehive account, then you can do that through the link in the description and claim a 30 day free trial. Although everything I'll show you in this video can also be done in the completely free launch plan. So to get started, just create your account and from within your account, go and click on the design drop down and click on website builder. So your landing page is going to be a page of your website. So right here you have the home page. Now this one doesn't matter that much. What we're going to do is click on this drop down and you can go to the sign up page. Now if you want to have more than just the sign up page, so if you want to have a landing page such as this one right here with a custom upgrade page for example, then you will need to get access to the upgrade page and for that you will need to upgrade to the scale plan. So if you want to claim a free trial to that, click on the link in the description, go to the pricing and then here just click get started with scale and start your 30 day free trial. However, I'll just create a sign up page, but the same kind of principles that I'll show you and the same editing can be used for any page you want to create, whether it's an upgrade page or a custom page. So this is the page that people will be taken to when they want to subscribe to your newsletter. Now, of course, this does not look very good yet. So if you want to go and create your own site that does look good, the first thing that I would recommend is to go to logo and identity right there and to go and upload your logo. Now the logo is pulled in from your publication settings. So click on that link and then here you will see the logo. So go and click on custom and then just upload your logo. So after doing that, simply go back out of the settings, go back to the design section and click website builder. And now you should see that it has the logo right there in the top left and it will now have the logo right there. So after we do that, you can go on to the global colors. So what are the colors of your brand? So you have the core, functional and content. Now you can see what each of these will be. So functional is going to be the background and then this will be the primary and secondary colors. Now, for example, if I have kind of an orange brand, then I can go to the orange right here, click orange, and then just make these fonts and subscribe buttons. You will see they become orange. Now, what I recommend you to do is to upload a custom background because that will look pretty good. So if you do want to upload your own background, you need to go to layout. Then here in the hero section, you need to upgrade to their skill plan again, but then here you can upload a background. Now I have a website that has some really good looking website backgrounds and it's this one right here. So it's just coolbackgrounds.io and you can see they have the triangulify particles, they have the CSS gradient, gradient topography, unsplash, but personally I like this one, the triangulify and you can see the colors that they have. Now you can see an example of what it would look like right there. So you just have a bunch of these backgrounds that you can just download from this website. So one that I like quite a lot is the black one right here. So if you click black, you will see it right there. Then you can click download and now I'll just open it up. So you can see now I have the background right here and this would look pretty good as a website background in my opinion. Now you can also just find a different type of background, but I kind of like this website. This blue one right here, for example, also looks really good. And then you have more blue options right there. So just go and upload that right here and it will look really good. Now, if you want to add any sections and stuff like that, then you can also go to the styles right here. Now, if you want to change any more, for example, the typography, then you just need to click on that part right here. And then here you can choose the typography. For example, if I select this one, then it will update and you can just update it for every single part that you want to have a different font. Then you can also do the radius and shadows. So you can set a border radius. You can customize the subscribe widget right here. So that's this section. So you have different templates. So the standard one is template one, but you can also choose to add a different one. And then you can hide the subscribe form when a user is logged in. You can have the email icon enabled and you can have the border enabled if you want. Now, next to that, you also have the global navigation, post styles and global footer. So once you have written some posts, they will show up right here. So if you want to change how the posts look, then here you can just set your settings for the posts right here. So you can also choose the background color for this specific section. I could, for example, make it orange. Then I can change the text color and stuff like that. 
And you also have your global footer, which is the bottom right here. So again, you can select a background color, then a text color, and all of that stuff from here. So creating a landing page with Beehive is very simple. However, there are some more advanced things you can do by going to settings right here. For example, you can connect your Meta Pixel, your X Pixel, TikTok Pixel, Google Analytics, or anything else you want from within here. You can also do your SEO. So you can remove indexing if you want, I won't do that. And the breadcrumbs are a navigational aid that allows users to keep track of their current location on your website. I would just not touch this right here. Then social links right here, you can just add links to your social media. Then those will be displayed on your website. Then in the email capture, you can choose how you want it to be. So you can choose alternative ways to capture email addresses of new subscribers. So none, gated, or pop-up. So then you can set the settings for that specific choice that you made. Then in the sign up flow, you can actually create a flow for when somebody signs up, then this happens and this happens. You can also allow comment sections on your posts. You can enable notifications, so you notify subscribers when events occur. And you can enable the mobile app. In security, you can make your website more secure or your landing page. And you can reset the theme, but I wouldn't touch that because then it will go back to the basic one. Now to get the link for this specific page, you just have it right here. So it's your newsletter name.beehive.com and you can just go and copy it. Although if you click publish styles in the top right, you will have now published it. And now if you want to connect your own custom domain, just go to the publication in your settings right here, then click on domains. And now here you can add a custom domain, but you can also choose to update your URL right here. For example, if I want to remove this back part, then this is probably already taken, but otherwise I could take that. Now to add your custom domain, just click on it and here enter your domain and follow all these steps. Now, by the way, from here, you can also connect your own email domain if you want to do that. But now we have created our own landing page and we have basically designed the sign up landing page, but you can do the same things to create a custom page. So when you are creating a custom page, you can start from a template and you can basically just start from scratch to create a landing page for whatever you want to create. But now you do know how you can upload your logo, choose the typography, choose the colors and everything that you will need to know to get started. Now for the mobile preview, just click on mobile right there and then you will also be able to see that from here. Now again, if you want to get started with Beehive's free plan or you want to get a 30 day free trial, which I do recommend if you want to create a landing page because it will give you some more customization options. But if you want to claim that, simply click on the link down in the description. So that concludes this Beehive landing page tutorial. If this tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.